Hey guys, it's me Dimas in Dimas Fix Diary and today I want to show you the video about my mini aquascape. Well, it's not very good aquascape. I can say that but it's still refreshing for me. Even though the wind love really not good to be seen. But anyway, I love it. I really really love it. And yeah. The reason why I'm doing the mini aquascape is because the aquascape that I have right now that consists of cichlid, honey grammys, and the corridoras cannot, I repeat, cannot be put together with the shrimp. Now I love shrimp. I really really love shrimp. I mean they have the gorgeous body you have ever seen but if I put with them it will be a total massacre for them so and also if I put with Blue Jack DMC well you know what they will do with the shrimp anyway that's the reason why I'm doing this a mini aquascape that consists of the shrimp only and maybe I will put some tetra in there as long as it's not a neon tetra I don't like neon tetra cardinal tetra and neon tetra I don't like it I very very doesn't like, don't like that fish but yeah that's the reason and the aquarium that I use for my mini aquascape is uh, an aquarium that I use for breeding the beta so because I'm done with the breeding and all I decided to use it rather than being a junk in the in the warehouse uh, use it in a way use it as a mini aquascape so here it is they are in here so the plants that I have is an Anubias in there. I forgot the name of Anubias. Let me let me do the zoom in there. Right there, you go. There, this is the first one. The Anub I don't know what kind of Anubias is this, but it's a good Anubias. I really like it. I don't think that's a Nana or something. Uh, I bought I bought at Jati Nagara. It's cheap. And in here, this is also Anubias. I think it's a long leaf. From the look of it, yeah. But this is a mini one, not the bigger one. So it does. And this is the Anubias Nana. You can see there. Let me. Okay. All right. There, you can see that? Yeah, that's it. That is the Anubias Nana. This uh, old Anubias Nana, but it has a good uh, growth in there. <laughs> Sorry for the long pause. And as you can see, overall in here is the Anubia, I mean, Windelof. But it's not in good, I mean, good condition. I think it's good condition, but there's a black there, a chocolate in there. Even though it's not good to the eyes, but I can assure you that when I have this window off, I throw them at the outside of the, uh, at the beta place. And for some reason, there are, well, you can say, uh, grow too much. <laughs> grow too much. On the left side, also the wheel low, but at the time, I didn't throw that into the, into outside. So, it's not good yet, but... I think I have the children in there. And 
and the last one is in the right side okay in the right side is the I think it's a Echinodorus Echinodorus the red special I don't think that's a red special it's a green a green one let's do zoom it there. this one has a long history with me you see this is the most oldest one plant I have and at the time it's melting a lot melting a lot <laughs> and, I, and I was like oh my god this plant will be dying very very dying I try everything I could to do the uh, do so I could do yeah I'm sorry uh, first of all it's not very old it's just one year old sorry but my this my prices price the plan that I have and as I said that I don't want it to die so I try to do what I can do like searching for a site on how to make them grow and everything even I put some I have some fertilizer in the gravel but it didn't do anything it's still withering melting a lot and so I heard that uh, no until yeah until sorry for my English very 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 not good yeah uh, almost desperate until at that time I have uh, I forgot the name of the plant that I plant in the soil with the soil rather than gravel but the soil it didn't do much at the time the plant the plant is very very dying still young at the time but really <laughs> it not live long enough it was gift from my friend and at the time I was like okay I think I'm gonna try this with the soil this is the last last throw the last throw that I have this plant and then here it is I'm using a pet uh, a bottle a bottle that I cut in half and I put the soil in the in that bottle and then I put the plant in there and for some reason as you can see it's very very effective I think it's because soil has some nutrition in there I take the soil from the from the garden and be, maybe because of that it became so much better than the gravel the gravel one so I'm very lucky I love it and damn I'm very proud proud of it is is even it even grow a kid too I say kid because I don't know the term of the new leaf in there. I think the new leaf is more appropriate for that. Yeah, new leaf come from that plant. So I just hope it keep getting better and better. Now for the uh, shrimp. Yeah, you already see that there. Okay, I'm gonna zip. There, can you see it? Ah, there. The shrimp is an orange one. Oh, okay. There you go. The shrimp is an orange shrimp. It's not that. It's not the expensive shrimp, not the samurai one, but it's an orange. Maybe this one is more. I find a bunch of group shrimp in there. Okay. There you go. Right, this one is more better. Uh, right, 
so this is it this is the shrimp that I bought from Jatinegara it's very nice but at that time I don't want to buy the I don't want to buy this one because I was looking for a seller that sold a blue pearl shrimp at that time but unfortunately it's not coming so I was like very very uh, disappointed and I don't want to go home happy empty handed so I bought this guys and it's a good decision it's a good decision it's orange it's not very orange but it's good orange so this is my shrimp in my aquascape right now there and the next one is this fish I think you already know this fish but I can tell you one thing I lost almost all of this fish when they got white spot I'm trying to cure them all but alas well I'm using that alas <laughs> anyway but the uh, fate say the other way oh wow okay not very focused in there sorry please focus I think it's focus yeah I think it's more focusing here. Yeah, I lost all of them until I realized this guy is still in the is, is still alive. Well, not in quarantine. I mean, when I changed the water, this guy this guy got sucked up in the in the process, and I'm panicked. I'm ran out and catch that little little guy I'm oh wow uh, very ah maybe this ah, okay is focusing on the leg of the stand <laughs> so yeah I put this guy in the breeding aquarium this aquarium at the time there's still a, a beta in there and yeah then this guy is alive very alive very kicking right now I was like what the hell what the hell why this guy is alive but anyway because still alive I decided to put it in the aquascape oh yeah aquascape because if I put cichlid slayer in there, I mean, one, just one, the entire community will be destroyed by it. And I don't want it. So that's why I put that guy in this aquarium with the shrimp. As you can see, he didn't do anything to the shrimp. But I may be gonna buy a few of them, maybe just five or four because if he's alone in there that is very very sad so yeah anyway that's it for my mini aquascape video <laughs> I really like aquascaping but I'm not that very good aquascape and to be fair I think I gonna change the window lock with the Plant name. Wait, I'm gonna see it in the internet. Ah, Buche Palandra, a native plant in Indonesia at Borneo. I think. <laughs> but it's until that time, until the time I can buy buy one, this will do. This will very very do the job. So thank you for watching my video. If you have uh, I have a comment.
comment, please write in the comment section. If you like the video, press the like button and subscribe for more video. This is Dimas 0302. I mean, Dimas in Dimas with Diary. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video.